Jamie, big news. Hi, Dave. Big news yes, in the, the media. That's uh, hi. I mean, I, 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 know, didn't, I know this I, has been pretty quick. I, um, I know I, we didn't, you know, I didn't think we had to do our YouTube video. But I'm not sure if you noticed. It's it's my birthday, and that's no, pretty big news. Uh, oh, okay, this is awkward. That's, uh, well, okay. Um, so I mean, it's great that's your birthday. Um, thank you. And I'm sure thank everyone's you. very excited. But there are some other things going on uh, okay. in the world, and uh, we want to catch up with them. So. I wanted to bring your attention to this update from OpenAI and a company, a robotics company that I've never heard of. I'm sure you haven't as Me well. Neither. Figure no. Zero One or Figure One? No, um, never heard of them. And I wanted your reaction to this uh, to this video. You've have you seen it? I mean, you've been busy having your birthday, I, obviously. I, but but you I, must I have was seen thoroughly the... enjoying my birthday. But then then someone sent me a link to this. Might have been you, Dave. Um, and I. <laughs> I, I, it it ruined with, your and, and if I, if I, yeah, no, it, it added a new element to my birthday. And actually, I think your phrase was something like, this shits on Tesla's robot. And I would agree because I forwarded, I, I might my have friend, said say, something like that. Like that. <laughs> we'll play it and I'll just get your reaction in real time. So this yeah, is what yeah, we both sure. saw. And, yeah. and I'm not going to play the, the audio because I'm sure if anyone's watching this, they will have already seen the video. They know roughly what happens. So this whole kind of thing, think, talk me through what you're seeing here and a whole. Yeah, so so this looks like the normal ones you see. You've got the robot there. It looks like a robot. It's got the kind of flashy thing on the uh, on the screen. And what the guy is doing is asking him in just normal natural language to I think do something to to give him something to eat. And the robot, as you can see here, very naturally picks up the apple, passes it to the other hand. I thought that was kind of cool. And then, and but the, the language he says something like, "Yeah, sure, here's an apple to eat." What are some of the overlapping technologies that are um, making you feel like this is a, a wow moment? What's going on? It's the it's adding the conversational part, the understanding part, the seeing part, and the the very natural, although slightly oversized hands, to the to the whole thing. So when we've seen robots before, there's not really been any interaction with talking and conversational. They've always just been you know moving eggs or or fighting each other or being pushed over with the Boston Dynamics ones. This is, this has bridged that gap now. Yeah, now yeah. They may well it's have been able to do that. It's all gone on the memory banks. That. We're in trouble later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and they, they may have done this stuff with the other ones, but they've not shown it. And it just, yeah, this is, this is uncanny, uncannily human. And do you think, I mean, I have seen a lot of these before. There's the element of a demo that goes into it. It's part of the excitement. Yeah. And you can often have, I think it's called teleoperation that goes on. So they might have an engineer that right. is, you know, in the background there, um, just playing around with it and making it do the things that needs as a demo. Is that, a, I mean, it's possible to I do all think this stuff. I'm just wondering if, uh, you know. I don't think that's what's going on here. And I think, shall I, shall I tell you what my second reaction was after I saw it? You know, this is, this is not real. This is one of those videos. So I never oh, thought it was a spoof, it maybe. Was genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Because the it, 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 now we don't know what to trust. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, that doesn't help. But okay, so you checked it, and as far as you can see, it's real. We, it might be a spoof. Uh, is we're not quite at April Fools yet, but it's close. And uh, yeah, and it sort of makes you think: Would stuff like that be worth doing as a stunt? Because it's be believably integrated with OpenAI, it's the sort of thing they would be trying to do. So spoofing it would it's not like corridor crew for example which make really clever spoofs of robots doing ridiculous things but this is not I don't think, sort of thing no i don't think that open ai would and they're not really into spoofing you know they, they seem pretty open in terms of what they're doing and they no. seem pretty serious i wonder yeah, i yeah. wonder whether the timing of this has got anything to do with mr musk suing open ai because obviously elon is doing his whole robot thing and maybe this is a bit of a don't don't mess with us. We you know we can we can play that game if you want. But do you think they've just brought forward the the presentation of it, perhaps? And yeah, like, yeah. So kind that's all just timing. internal politics. But the 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 interesting thing is whether or not it can be really done. Whether or not it's a demo with a teleoperator is another thing. And I I don't know. I, I think this is the problem. I don't know what real looks like. I know that looks impressive. And I would just say, I'd take them at their word, but that's naive. I don't, I don't know. So I think over the next uh, day or two, there'll be a lot of speculation yeah. and people will 
probably uh, poke poke uh, around and say, look, hang on a minute, there's something odd there and so on. Um, I think it's just not that it's outside the realm of possibility at all to do this now. So therefore, it, in that sense, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, all of these things have been hinted at. It's just that the level of it is so much higher and of, of a better quality than what we've seen, the, say, the, the Tesla bot do. And what I think is, again, is that it's that combination. It's the combination. Sorry, I realized my video has gone a bit blurred. But the, uh, the, the, it's the combination of the talking, the language, which you can do with OpenAI. You can do that really easily, and it works really well, kind of conversational stuff. And you've seen the robots and what they can do. Yeah. But it's that, it's that marrying of the two things together. I guess in another kind of way, it's a bit like, um, do you remember the, was it the, um, the, the Apple event with Steve Jobs? And he's kind of given the hint, he's going, a phone, a music player, of, of this and it, gets, it keeps repeating it and that's yeah, that's yeah, kind of like that yeah, moment you're going. it's like it's yeah. a robot and it talks it's a robot can you see what i've done yet you know and that's that's what it feels like what's his name johnny johnny eves from um from apple and there was some talk about them doing something together and there was lots of speculation of maybe like an earpiece kind of thing and around the time of uh, the humane launch the, the, that's that, right. uh, those devices the one with the on, on yeah. your chest that's like a star trek transponder uh, yeah. It seems like a pretty big deal and mm -hmm. looks like the sort of thing that people, I guess, a couple of generations ago, even as far back as the 50s, with, you know, robots in sci-fi, this is what was a special effect. Now, this is yeah. really feels like very close to what you'd expect a proper functioning ro humanoid robot to do. So I think that looks, yeah, I mean there's been sort of this coming close to this in the past. And, you know, I was on a podcast recently where we were talking about uh, the Tesla bot and someone in the chat yeah. was like, it's a joke. It's like, well, I guess it's kind of a joke until it's not. And, and I think what we're seeing is now it's not a joke. I mean, not, maybe not the yeah. Tesla bot, but the point is these, this technology and this level of ability is coming. Yeah. Yeah. And it's coming fast. It's absolutely coming fast. And I think so, going yeah. back to some of our previous conversations about AG, AGI yes. and, and again, I think what, I think the really, the, it, it was so simple, but was really pertinent. And what, what I just mentioned before when we were watching it is it was doing something, but talking about something different. And that's a very human kind of thing to do. You know, I was literally just with all this, I was loading the dishwasher and talking to my wife about something. Yeah. I can't. I, that's even, it. Even, yeah, I, I mean, look, you that. are I still. I still can't. I'll, I'll never make a good robot. I mean, I'm doomed. Absolutely. Chuck yeah, me on the scrap heap now. So yeah, exciting times. Yeah. Well, exciting times indeed. Anytime. All right, very good. We'll watch this space, but we, uh, I'm glad you're able to jump on in the middle of your birthday and give us give us your thoughts, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> good to chat with any, you. Get back to your birthday, any, anytime, the real event of anytime, the day. Though. And uh, I, I, will do, I will do. I will do. Resistance is futile.